we had, uh, we obviously uh, met with and, and auditioned quite a fair number of people. And uh, Craig had done an episode of Taxi. I remember Craig and I had, I had really liked his work, especially I liked him in Injustice for All. And um, we met with Craig and he, uh, Craig was just coming off of a series for ABC called Call to Glory, which he had loved and which he'd put his heart and soul into and ABC had canceled it. Um, despite the fact it was critically well received. And so, and he had been angry about that. So he was very angry at ABC and ABC was not very happy with him. So, uh, and I had made the comment that I, I wanted the Hayden character to frankly be a little dangerous. And, and to help the reality of it, I just wanted him to be a little dangerous. And so, and I thought Craig was an actor that was a little dangerous. So, and when I say dangerous, I don't mean physically dangerous, but I mean he's, he's, he's challenging and he takes, uh, he's willing to take chances and, um, you know, it, it, <laughs> very different personality from Bob. But we had a great, we had a great meeting and, uh, or a couple of meetings, dinner, and, uh, you know, told him that, I said, you know, I can't promise that the show will be successful, but I, I, I think I can promise that we'll be proud of the work we do. And uh, he was on board, but he would have to audition, which he thought was outrageous because he said, I just did a show for them. I just did a series. How can they ask me to do this? And he's already mad at them anyway. But um, that was the, you know, I said, you have to. And he said, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to audition. So ABC says, well, if he's not going to audition, we can't, we're not going to approve him. Um, so we struck a deal where um, I said, what if, <laughs> what if he agrees to read, if you agreed to come over to my office and do it there as opposed to making him go to the studio so that it feels at least like there's a, each side is, you know, meeting halfway. So a little like the Mitty's Peace Talks, we're going to just do it in my office. And I thought, I've hit upon something brilliant here. And... Uh, Everybody came over and, and Craig came in and he, he just, the minute he came in, he was just angry that he had to do it and he just completely threw it. I mean, he just completely threw the audition and, uh, you know, walked out and, uh, you know, ABC sort of all went, well, we could have told you this is what you get, you know, and um, I said, okay, so a few more days, maybe a week or two went by, kept looking at other people and finally came back and said, you know, uh, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy. I said, I think this is the guy. And they go, oh, they said, well, if, if, you, if you really think so, they said, we'll, we'll go ahead and approve him, but um, we have to tell you that you, it's, your show will never see the light of day on ABC if that's what you're gonna insist on. And uh, I said, okay. And, uh, and Carrie McLuggage supported it. And um, we went into the pilot without um, agreeing on a licensing fee. ABC was not, uh, was just not going to approve it. So it, this was going to basically, Universal was on the hook for financing the entire pilot. And, but informed ABC, they said, you know, we're going to do two run throughs. You can come to the first one because you had the first crack at it, and then we're going to invite the other networks to the second run through and you'll have a chance between the two if you want to make a deal or not make a deal. So uh, that was probably the highest stakes pilot run through I've ever done because the, usually when you have the network there, they've already written the check. Um, this one, they had nothing, no investment in it. And, uh, and fortunately, a lot of the people doing the pilot didn't know, didn't know what was going on. Most hardly anybody knew what was going on. And I was directing the pilot because this was also the middle of the writer strike, so uh, we couldn't rewrite anything. So uh, we could cut, but we couldn't rewrite. So um, I was directing it, and in those days, you were used to seeing. It's, it's different now, but in those days, you, you maybe would see twenty people for a run through. We must have had close to a hundred people on the stage for the run through because we had all the accountants were there and business affairs people and. Everybody else was, people are going, is this typical? I'm going, oh yeah, they're just interested in the show. And um, 
you know, afterward it worked out and we got the licensing fee from ABC that we wanted. And um, so uh, they were thrilled with Craig. He couldn't, you know, he was, he was brilliant. And um, that's, that's how we cast him.